Okay, welcome back to A Plan Is Built. And, let's see. So, it just comes off a little bit. Okay, so, this is copper. Alright, so what I need to do now is get a pair of scissors and cut out the, uh, cut out the pattern that I just made. And, let me cut across. Call this weeding. So I'm going to pull off the outside edge. Do that first. Okay. And down here where I can see something. I'm trying to do it on the camera at the same time, so I need to be right, right there. And I got to figure out what I need and what I don't. Okay, so this part here doesn't get used. So it goes away, and if the cutter did good, you can almost pull this off in one continuous piece if it was cut at the right pressure, which it looks like it was. Okay, so and that is what you have to be careful of because you don't want it to stick back to itself. It is very, very, very sticky. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Come on now, don't do that to me. Alright. So pull all that off. Alright, now there's your that's our uh, circuit board. So what we want to do now is we want to get Some masking tape, which I've got the uh, the actual tape that you're supposed to use for that, but I'm going to use masking tape because it's just as easy. And we're going to roll a masking tape. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of masking tape here. So what we'll do is we'll take off, we'll take a roll of masking tape. So what we're going to do is we're going to put masking tape on this. So, all right, pretty straightforward so far. So I get the masking tape to come off the roll. That will be a. All right. So, I'm just going to take the masking tape, put it over top of the the pattern like so. Not rocket science here. Unless you don't have a vinyl cutter, if you could do this without a vinyl cutter, then I guess it would be rocket science. So you can cover it up just like so. Okay. Cut the tape. Alright, so now this is the fun part. Okay. So now I'm gonna get rid of this excess on these edges here. Just because I don't want it sticking to the table or anywhere else. So I want to. Alright. Now, that is ready to put onto the copper. But what I want to do is get a little bit of cleaner and clean that copper off, make sure there's nothing on it. Um, just maybe some Windex or something like that. And I got the Windex here. So, spray a little Windex on it, which 
it I don't think it makes a difference. So I'm gonna run it under some water. Just to maybe get the oil the pond or something like that. It'll be it'll give it off. Okay. Now dry it off. And there you go. So now let me go get a little towel and dry it off real good. I'm gonna make sure we're not uh, I'm gonna make sure that this is not damp. Because I really want to there. Can you see that? There you go. Now you can see it. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over and we're going to slowly I'll take this over here. Let me wipe this off again. Alright. So you can take the masking tape and your pattern will stick to the masking tape. Okay? Just like that. Now, we have what's called transfer tape, but this works just as good, it's cheaper. So now you bring your masking tape over. And what you would do is if you had the transfer tape, you would uh, spray a solution on there and you'd actually be able to uh, to move your vinyl around, get it exactly where you want it, and squeegee it out, but uh, but this works just fine. Uh, so, you just get it centered the best you can. Um, that's pretty good. And you set it down on there, and you start in the middle, and you just work it out. And I have a squeegee downstairs to squeegee it out. Um, so, uh, let me run downstairs and grab my squeegee and I'll be right back. <laughs> 